I'm Sir Tap Tap, and welcome to Let's Play Rocket Fist. Review Captain's Games provided by the developer. This, is, they described it as. Let's go ahead and do the tutorial. Go away, inventory thing. Um, this was described as a robot dodgeball sort of game. Um, it's got a multiplayer party mode. It's got online multiplayer. It doesn't have it right now. Um, it will have it at release. I mean, I'm playing this pre-release, so that's why it doesn't have that. There is a little story mode, which is what I'll be playing for now. I guess it, you know, introduces you to the mechanics. So you can carry one fist and you press A to punch with it, I guess. Go away, mouse. No buttons. This game has solid controller support, unlike entirely too many games lately. <coughs> I guess that's all we had for a tutorial. So they can use Rocket Fist too. I guess the it's if it's based on the multiplayer that makes sense then. I'm wondering if you can like parry without the rock or like if you don't have the fist and you bump into somebody. Ah. So you can stun them. But I wonder if you can like block an oncoming shot or if it's a, that's just fatal. Oop. Boink. Up. I did not boink as effectively as I had hoped to. Whew. Finding lots of good little local multiplayer indies lately. Wand Wars was also good. Ah, dead. Very streak end to end sometime. It's honestly, it's a little. <laughs> well, the biggest problem with local multiplayer indies is if you don't have online multi, a lot of us don't really have much opportunity to play. I've said before, it's not really easy for me to get local multiplayer and, you know, record it. Um, so a campaign mode helps. Uh, online multiplayer, of course, helps. Uh, cool to see both in this one game. Um, online multiplayer is fairly rare. Usually a single, like, um, what was it? Capsule Force had a single player campaign that's like totally different from the multiplayer, actually, but, uh, it's basically a bunch of time trials based on the same mechanics. That was an interesting way to go about it, too. Though, honestly, I think Duck Game needs to lend out their netcode. I've said this several times, but I mean, that game's netcode is ridiculous. If you saw me play that, like... You can't feel the lag at all. And, like, I had... It was me and three other people, probably varying ping times and everything, and it was just really smooth. So... I don't know how versatile their netcode happens to be, but uh, I would love to see more games use oop, Duck Games netcode. Oh, we got bosses? Okay, ow! Dead. Does it reset the whole level? Sure does. Give me that. Boop! Oh, I got booped. I intended to boop, but yet it was I. The da! Okay. Alright, let's just chill out about it a little bit. Meant to do that. That was totally a deliberate bank shot. I'm just that good. Oops. I see. Rather super powered little boss here. Up, up. Woo! I'm kind of surprised he doesn't deal contact damage or something. This is a little tense. No! One left. Oh, we have lives. Okay. Wait. Where am I? Which level is this? I was not expecting lives. Like, I thought just reset the whole level and... There you go. Oh, you're just one level before the boss. It's not too bad then. Not sure why bothers, but whatever. Boop. Okay, just want to keep my distance. Nope. Is he capable of meleeing me, or... Uh, he seems to be getting close when he shouldn't! Damn it! I guess he's trying to do that, maybe. Ah, oh, 
come on. Rude. Boop. That was that was a little dangerous. Dead. Oh, come on. Okay, he can only stun me. That's not too bad at all. Whew. There you go. Not too bad. Oh, we've got Bomberman mechanics. Oh, man. How- I know Konami is terrible and everyone hates them, and rightly so, but I mean, how do we not have a current-gen Bomberman? I mean, it's gotta be like the simplest thing. I mean, even literally, even just a remaster of one of last gen's Bomberman games. You just gotta have a Bomberman game on every console. I mean, how do you not... How, how stupid can you be? Well, Konami is dedicated to proving how stupid humans can, in fact, be. But it's still frustrating. I, I don't even know why they bought Hudson. Whatever. I, this has been discussed to death, but I mean, it's still stupid. Oh, this game also has a pretty decent options menu. I, uh, forgot to show it off. I, the game started without any AA, so I decided to t take a look. I wanted to make sure I kept 60 frames per second, but, uh, so I didn't go too crazy on AA. I still have a Radon 6950, so I, I can't, you know, I can't go crazy on the graphics on modern games anymore, but, uh, hey. Um, I plan to upgrade, but the, pff, uh, Problem is, uh, there's gonna be a very big, you know, there's, there's gonna be a die shrink this year, almost certainly, so, um, I would be very stupid to get a current graphics card, because whatever we get this year is gonna be an actual improvement, whereas things have been pretty tepid in terms of improvement since, pretty much since I got my card, like, they're obviously considerably better, but, uh, they're not really... Like, my card's two gigabytes, and you still can't really get much better than that, and that's pretty pathetic. So, I want a minimum of four on anything I get. Uh, six, ideally, but I don't... Like, I'm gonna get whatever the best single card performance I can get. Um, I'm gonna spend around 500, probably. Like, if it's worth it. I spent like two or three hundred on my current card. I would love to spend that much on my next one, but I mean, I think I may as well splurge a bit considering I do stuff with games as, you know, a major hobby. So, uh, may as well take that a little seriously. All right, straight to the boss. What the fuck? What? Chill out, Dr. Nefarious. How dare you? What? He's way more dangerous when he takes damage than... Alright. Oh, you can raise and lower the thing. Aw, oh, come on! I figured there would at least be a tiny cooldown. What? I don't understand his pattern. It does not seem... Oh! Oh! Damn it. Oh, come on. Um... I guess you're supposed to use the barriers? But yeah, I'm liking this one. The bosses... Well, I mostly just don't like that you don't respawn right at the boss, like... I don't see the value of this game over system, to be quite honest. I've rarely seen a game that I think benefits from a game over system. Like, either go full roguelike, or just let me restart and, like, make me lose a set amount of progress. Damn it. Just seems silly. See, what? I guess he just continues in whatever direction he was facing? Like, he's facing... Now he bounces from the shot? Uh, honestly, I have no idea what he's doing. Uh, he took two hits on accident and he died. Uh, I'm not really like. Oh, what the? Spiders! I'm not a big fan of the design of that particular boss. Wait, you can't stun spiders? Okay. 
Give me that. Oh wait, you can stun the spiders, they're just... ...fast about it. Wait, what the? Did it split? I think it split. There we go. Come here, you little bug. Aw, oh, come on! Would you... There you go. Get out of here. I guess you just go back one level whenever you get a game over. But I mean... You're gonna get a game over at the boss and pretty much nowhere else. It seems a little silly. Alright, so the big ones? Yeah, the big ones split into two. Give me... No. Ah. Alright, we'll do one more boss, I think. Ah, oh, come on. What? Come on! Ah. Get out of here. Ah, that was my fault. I just want to see the boss. Get out of here. For f On. How did that not hit? Ah, <sighs> spiders are surprisingly dangerous. See, so the thing about sending me back to the prior level is I didn't die on the prior level, so I there's not necessarily any difficulty in the prior making me repeat the prior level. It's just arbitrary punishment. Oh wait, I got sent back more than one level? This isn't the level I was at. I'm not sure what's happening. I don't think I fought this level before. Did I? I'm just all kinds of confused now. Ah, stop it! Oh, come on. That hit you. Ha! Nice. Whew. Weird. Are the levels randomly generated then? Or... Th these are not levels that I was on before. Uh, fu I was using that. I was using that. You... Jerk. I'm pretty bad at this. Oops. Give me that. There you go! Yes! That is very satisfying. Ugh. It's kind of a shame you don't get a double kill, like, notification when you do that. Ah, come on! <clears throat> See, look how satisfying that is, and it doesn't give a double kill. Uh, I knew this boss would be a giant spider, and, it, and let me guess, it splits into two more giant spiders. Like, slightly less giant spiders. And then what? I didn't think it had a thing. I guess it did. It's gonna split into at least two more giant spiders, and then they're probably gonna split into... non-giant spiders.
they're so non-aggressive, it's kind of silly. Like, oops. The only danger is my inability to throw in a straight line right now. Which is a pretty big danger. I'll give them that. Hmm. Okay, them hoarding all the balls is also a danger, but there you go. Off, for Pete's sake. There's more. Whew, okay. Yes! Oh! Uh-oh. Good idea to focus on the little ones first. There you go. The spiders aren't very aggressive. Though maybe they'd be too hard if they were aggressive, because they're everywhere. Die! Yes! Alright. I got... Ooh! Was that a cannon? I think I just killed a new enemy without noticing what it was. Alright, we'll take a couple, a couple more levels, but I gotta get some other games. But yeah, this is really cool. I wish I could show you some local multiplayer. Actually, let me see if it has bots. I'll see if it has bots. Let me see what that if that was a cannon or something. Yeah. Yeah, just a death cannon. Alright. We see the death cannon. Let's see if there's a let's see if there's some bots I can fight. Oh, there's a level editor. That's cool. Yeah, oh yeah, let me show you that option menu. So yeah, pretty solid, you know, all the graphics options you'd expect, pretty much. From being like this, you can disable screen chat. I'm, I'm not getting rumble. Oh, there's Twitch interactivity. Okay, connect message. Oh, right, they said there was something about Twitch integration. I, um, I'm still not really back in the streaming game entirely, so I'm not sure I'll be streaming. Um, any of that stuff, but let's take a quick look at the level editor. Oh, good, it has mouse support. Well, of course it does. So yeah, level editor for people that are more patient than me. Uh, looks cool, but uh, I just want to check out that local versus. See if it has bots. Oh, that's definitely the custom we're gonna do. AI. Sure. Deathmatch, I guess. Lots of power-ups, definitely. We're going full Smash Bros. Ah! Dead. Yes, it has Bomberman ghosts! Too few games let dead players screw with other people. Oh, it does have double kill for multiplayer. These are very short matches. Like, insanely short. Oh, you get you get credit for kills, not just who's left standing. So I'm not doing as bad as I thought then. Oh, there's gaps that... Oh, cool. This has all of the cool stuff of Bomberman, even though... You know, mechanically, it's very different from Iron Man. Ah, ah, uh, beat me. Oh, I want that power up. I gotta. Oh. You die so fast. This is exactly the Bomberman ghost. Somebody likes Bomberman. I'm not complaining. Bubble! Screw you guys, I got a bubble. You're all dead. You are all dead! Yes. Yeah, this seems pretty solid. Yes! Come here. Come here, punk! Did did he die? I, I think the ghost stole my kill. Ah! I don't get a ghost? I guess... I guess you don't get a ghost when it's match point? Oh my gosh, the purple would have won if I didn't get that extra kill. See, so yeah, that is Rocket Punch. That is pretty intense little multiplayer thing. Very fun.